Welcome to another Fortune 3 video. Today what we're going to be talking about is e-commerce product page optimization. So when we think of search engine optimization, we usually think of optimizing the home page. But what we've seen lately is you can get a lot of solid conversions by making sure that your product pages are well optimized for the search engines. So when people type in, let's say, a product code, instead of a certain keyword, your uh, products will rank in the search engines. Okay, so here are a few key elements that will make your product pages rank really well. The first, we have the URL. So in the URL, let's say your website is called redsocks.com. So you want to put redsocks.com and on a certain product, let's say for this particular red sock, it's a small cotton sock, you want to put redsocks.com backslash red slash socks slash cotton dot html something like that you want to insert your keywords in the url that will really help with the the seo the second uh, element would be the title tag each title tag in every product should be different even if it's the same product with a different size and you want to list both make sure that you know there is a difference in titles you never want to duplicate the same title on on your on a whole website pretty much the next are the description tag. Again, you never want to have duplicate description tags within your products. Uh, the same goes for keyword tags. So basically these three are your common tags, which I'm sure a lot of you are already implementing these tags into your product pages. Some of you may not, and they're really, really important for search engine optimization reasons. Uh, this one we put in big and highlight because it's all about content. You've heard content is king and that's still pretty much one of the main components of search engine optimization today is content you want to make sure that each product has as much content as possible not only for the search engines but also for the visitor right you want to give them as much information as possible and you're also doing yourself a big favor for SEO the next one is image file name a lot of people don't know this some do but you want to uh, give your image a name that is relevant to the keywords uh, for SEO and also because a lot of people do image search, right? So when people are typing in a uh, keyword in the image search, let's say in Google, you want your picture to rank because that will bring in traffic. So make sure to implement keywords into your file names. Uh, inbound links. Don't just try to get links to your home page get links to products as well. That's gonna help the overall optimization of the page and of course it's gonna help that one product rank uh, better than it would without any links. And the last thing we put here is outbound links. Now, the common theory I guess you could say is the more inbound links, inbound links you have, right, the better. Yes, that's probably true, but you do want to uh, give a link outward sometimes, especially to an authoritative site. So let me give you an example. If you have a product, right, and the manufacturer of that product has that product in their page with some sort of description and they're probably not selling it because a lot of manufacturers don't sell on their own site, maybe you want to link to that because that one manufacturer site could be an authoritative site with Google and you're showing Google that you have this one product and you're also linking outwards to this manufacturer site because they have a lot of information on that product as well and that looks good with the search engine. Now you don't want to start uh, out linking on all your products, this is just a tactic that could work for certain product pages that could better optimize. So these elements will better help the optimization of your product pages which again don't just focus on optimizing the home page, it's very important to optimize a whole website overall to get the best rankings possible. Uh, Till next time, we'll have another video for you. Stay tuned to the next Fortune 3 video.